Hello, it's Robert Schwimmer. Welcome back to my channel and a big thank you to those loyal subscribers. As a child, I used to explore the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach with my family. Today, as a maritime historian, I really enjoy heading back to San Pedro and Long Beach. Of course, always have my camera close at hand. Currently, there's not a day that goes by without the news reporting on the nearly 80 container ships anchored offshore and stacks of shipping containers at the terminals that need to either be loaded on a ship, transported by truck, or by train across this nation. So I thought I would share with you all my observations at the ports from 2020 during the early beginnings of the COVID-19 pandemic when Trans-Pacific shipping came to a halt, and then we'll fast forward to 2021. In March of 2020, there were no container ships anchored outside the breakwater. Only a few could actually be seen offshore transiting the shipping lanes. Tugboats would occasionally tow ships in, but that was mostly cargo ships, vessels that were coming, let's say, from South America, bringing fresh goods. The container ship terminals, for the most part, came to a halt, and a few containers were on the dock, but nothing like today's standards. This is the Kanad Reefer uh, at the Port of Los Angeles. It's a 538 foot cargo ship and it has a built in refrigeration system in the cargo holes and it's offloading fresh cargo of grapes from Chile. Late in 2020, the Trans-Pacific container ship trade was starting to finally pick up again at both ports, but certainly there was no backup or container ships anchored offshore waiting. Fast forward to 2021. Here we have nearly 80 cargo ships that are anchored offshore of the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. At the container ship terminal is a sea of stacked containers choking the supply chains. Some of the container ships were forced to come into port for needed repairs that could not be completed offshore. Eventually getting through the gridlock, the container ships arrived at the dock to offload their containers from Asia, take on a new load, and return to ports such as China and Japan. As part of the port's infrastructure, there are several different tugboat companies that move the container ships 24 hours a day. Containers continue to stack up at the terminals and now they're facing daily fines if not moved after nine days. <music> 
Traypak Container Terminal uses state-of-the-art rail-mounted automated stacking cranes that can fill up to four trains daily. They also use a hybrid electric automated straddle carriers for the containers. You should check out some of Traypak's YouTube videos. They go into a lot more detail on the robotics. I'll put a link below. Finally, the trucks and trains are loaded and hopefully bringing you all holiday cheer across the nation. I hope you enjoyed this quick journey exploring the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach and now enjoy some photos of the colorful world of shipping containers. Hey, thank you for watching.